Okay, welcome to a new video on the channel and first of all I want to apologise for the whine or the drone that you hear in the background. One of the computers we have is quite noisy so perhaps it needs a new fan or a cleaner or something like that. So in this video we're going to take a look at Thunderbird, um, specifically doing a mail merge on Thunderbird. Um, so this is something I've did before on Windows and on this video we're going to focus on the Mac. Um, so we're going to first of all install the mail merge uh, add-on to Thunderbird Then we're going to do a mail merge and then we're going to do a mail merge with um, an attachment Okay um, So we're going to kick off first of all by adding the uh, add-on to Thunderbird And I'm going to assume at this point you have Thunderbird installed so you can see here it's on uh, My system it's open um, and I've got an email account active on here just now uh, so I'm going to assume that you're at this stage already and then we're going to start by installing the mail merge add-on uh, so to do so we just make sure that Thunderbird is the active window we go to tools add-ons and um, on the top right hand corner here we're going to search and in here I'd simply type in mail merge You'll see that this is opening in tabs. So we have the inbox, that's the add-ons manager, and then we have the search for add-ons. So the one we're looking for is the one at the top here, just mail merge. You can see there that we have to restart once we've installed. And I'll just click on that just to make sure that this is indeed the mail merge plugin by Alexander Bergman. Okay, so I'm going to click on add to Thunderbird and that will install. Just install now. And then we have a message here to say that mail merge will be installed after you restart Thunderbird. So we can click restart now on the corner up here. That will close Thunderbird. It'll open it again. I'm just going to skip that just now. And we'll just go back to the add-ons manager. So yep, we've got mail merge installed and uh, it's active. So it's enabled. So we have the disable option. That means that this one's enabled just now. Um, so, so long as we've got that, we're good. I'm just going to close this window just now. And to make sure it's active, we're going to uh, write a new message. So we're going to say write. And we'll go to the file menu and we have the option for mail merge. So we have to do um, a little bit of preparation before we can go any further. So for now, what I'm going to do is just close down the mail merge or the new message window here and I'm going to take uh, Thunderbird away just now because what we want to do now is to prepare a list of recipients for our mail merge. So I'm going to open up uh, numbers here so what you want to do is open up uh, an application that you can create a CSV file from um, and I'm using numbers simply because that's the one which comes free with uh, Mac OS. Uh, you can get that from the App Store if you don't have it already. And Numbers allows us to create a, a CSV file. So I'm just going to create a blank uh, document here just now. Let's say choose to start that. I'm going to give it some headings. So I'm just going to say in here name, email, and when we do the attachment, I'll create a, a separate file. So I'm just going to put some dummy data in here just now. So we'll just say Bob, Bob's email is bob at test.com. Jim will be Jim at test.com. Then we'll have Steve, Steve at test.com. Very creative, as you can see. Um, now, we're not going to save this as normal. What we're going to do is go down to export to and select CSV. Uh, so, yep, we're going to export a CSV. We'll take a look at the advanced options. And we'll just keep this at the default just now. now. I'm going to say next. And I'm just going to save this in my documents folder here. And I'll just save that as mail merge uh, recipients. That should do for me just now. And I'll press on export. So for now I'm just going to close the file here just now, delete that because I don't need it. And I'll just go to my documents folder 
there's my CSV file, and I'm just going to open that with a text, <coughs> excuse me, a text editor just now. So I use Text Wrangler. You can use Text Edit as well. And we can see the data we're looking for is in there just now. So it has added some additional columns in here that are blank, but that's okay for what we are doing at the moment. That's not going to be an issue. So I'm going to jump back into Thunderbird now. I'm going to write a new message. Um, and in the, the two box, we're going to type in the um, the the recipients of the the message. Okay. So on my uh, mail merge file, the two is going to be email because that's a column header um, of the column which includes the email addresses. Um, and the subject, I'm just going to write test message. And then I'm just going to start the message now. So I'm just going to say hi. I'm just going to put in another merge field, name. And then we'll come down and write a little message. This is a test message for the mail merge. Thanks. Yes. So that's very basic, but that's all we need. What we're looking for here is from the CSV file that I created, for it to put the email address in the two box, and for it to put the name of the recipient from the, the name column in here. So if I now go to file and mail merge, it'll come up and ask, um, first of all, what the source is. And the source is going to be CSV because we've created a CSV file. The deliver mode for now, I'm going to say save as draft because I don't want to send the messages now. If I can have it create these messages and put them into my drafts folder, then I know it's going to work. And for this example, we don't have attachments. For the file, I'm going to browse and it automatically goes to my documents folder. So I'll pick the mail merge recipients file and say open. And I can see there it's picked UTF-8, which is a format that I picked. And the default options here for the comma, they are fine. And then what I'm now going to do is say OK. And the mail merge has now run. So we can now see my draft has three items. If I click on that, we can see that the three messages have been created. The correspondence look correct, so the recipients of the email have pulled the correct email addresses. And if I open one of those, you can see that the mail merge field has pulled the name in correctly. That's exactly what we're looking for. And this is how you would send a simple mail merge. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. And this time we're going to use the attachments functionality so that we can send a unique attachment to each of the mail recipients. So if I go to my documents folder, I have added a folder called attachments. And within that folder, I have three files, just three car logos. And one thing to note is that the capitalization of each of the file names is all in lowercase. So in this example, what I want to do is send a unique file, one of these unique files to each of the mail recipients. And to do that, what I'm going to do first of all is open up the um, CSV file again in numbers that I did before. And I'm going to add a new column to that, uh, which we'll just call attachment. And then within that attachment folder, I want to add um, the file name for each one. So I'll just type in Mazda dash logo dot jpg vw dash logo dot jpg and honda dash logo dot jpg and you just want to be careful of the capitalization so autocorrect has kicked in there and changed the capitalization of honda so um, that's all in lowercase there now in some cases you would want to provide the full path in here but we are going to do it through uh, thunderbird which I'll, I'll explain in just a moment um, so i've added one uh, field here called attachment and we've got the file names in there as well so what I now want to do again export to CSV stick with the default options click on next um, and just for laziness I'm going to add the number 2 after the file name 
and I know that number two is the one that contains the uh, attachment file name in there, okay? So I'm just going to quit out of numbers just now, delete that, um, and we're going to go back to Thunderbird. But just before I do that, I just wanted to explain the file path here. So the CSV file is here, I'm in the documents folder, and the attachments are in the attachments folder there. So again, I'm going to write a new email, and we'll use a mail merge field for the email address, so just email, and just to demonstrate that you can use a merge field in the subject, we'll do that now, so message for name, just like that, and let's write the email message, so hi name, here is your file, thanks, keep it nice and simple. And just like before, I'm going to click on File, Mail Merge. Um, everything is as it was before. The difference now being what I want to do is to check the box for attachments. I'm going to copy this part of this file path here and add on attachments, just like that, because that's the folder that my attachments are in. And then the remainder of the attachment comes from the CSV document like that. So this is the path here on my system, users, Chris Bryce and documents, attachments, which is, so I go to documents, attachments, and then we have the files, but on the CSV file, if I just open this with a text editor just now, attachment is the field that contains the file name. Um, I then went to browse and pick the new CSV file, so number two is the one which contains the attachment file for me. Everything else remains unchanged. I'm going to say on OK. It's going to create the three messages for me. And then in the drafts folder we can now see it sent the three messages. This time we've used the name field and the subject, so you can see a message for Bob. I click onto there, we can see the Mazda logo. Jim has the VW logo and Steve has the Honda logo. And that's how you would go about doing it with an attachment in there as well. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.